So, did you know that Ingodo is setting up a simple hit mechanic with feedback like animations, floating damage or sounds is actually really easy to do? For that, you first need to give your character, so your player or your mob, a health system. You can do that by having a script with a max health and a health variable, and then make a take damage function, where you reduce the current health by a given amount, and you will trigger all the feedback, like the animation, sound, damage text, and health bar. Okay, now that we have that, let's talk visuals. For the health bar, we can use a progress bar node that we slap onto our character so that it follows it in the scene. Or alternatively, if we're talking about the player, it can be part of your static UI. But in any case, you can then add some custom styles to this bar to get something more in line with the rest of your game vibe, maybe set a minimum size, and hide the label in person in the middle, and finally, in your script, you'll want to do two things. First, when you set your character's max health, you want to set the max value of the health bar to the same amount. You can do that in a setter function that will run whenever you change the value of your max health variable. Second, with another setter, but this time on the health variable, you can update the value of the health bar accordingly. And there we go! You see that now, when our player hits our mob, for example, which calls this enemy's take damage function, the mob's health bar reduces a little. For an even fancier effect, you can upgrade your code a little to only show the health bar if the character's health is less than the max health. This will help reduce cluttering on the screen if there are a lot of characters at the same time. Then, to go further, you'll probably want to add floating damage text upon hit. That's something that instantly adds this wow effect, and that is super satisfying all on its own. To implement this, start by adding a label node to your character scene, and style it as you want. Then in your script, add a function like this one that you called from the take damage method. In this function, we're going to reference our new label node and set its text to the damage value, reset its position, and then use the built-in twin tool from Godot to have it pop out as it fades every time this function is called. Oh, and by the way, if you're curious about twins, I actually made a dedicated tutorial on that topic. But anyway, you see that this is getting better and better. Now, for some extra juiciness, add an animation player node to your character that contains a short hit animation, maybe a little shake or flash, and trigger it in your code in the take damage function. This way you clearly see which enemies you've just hit, or if you yourself have taken some damage. And now for the final touch, you should drop in an audio stream player node, load a quick ouch sound, and play it from your logic. Note that using the basic audio stream player will make the sound completely non-specialized, but if you want you can also use the 2D or 3D version, depending on the kind of game you're working on, if you want to actually position the sound depending on the position of the character itself. But in any case, here you go! You've now got a simple, but effective and pretty enjoyable hit system that can easily be applied to your player or your enemies. I really hope you liked this quick tutorial. Don't hesitate to react in the comments and subscribe to the channel to get more videos. And of course, a huge thanks to my Patreon and YouTube members for the support and to you for watching. And as always, take care.